Uh, we'll start streaming now. We've just had a premiere, so let's just find out, make sure that the stream is actually coming through, because I can see here. So just stand by a moment. Oh, fine. If someone could just give me a little signal report, that would be great. Ah, oh, wrong camera. <laughs> a very good day. Ah, hello, hello. Good. It's all working. Now, I've spent quite a lot of time on my audio today. About two hours, actually. So hopefully, one, the high-frequency noise has gone, and two, I'm not clipping, and, well, just let me know if I'm not clipping. All is good audio-wise. I want to maintain this uh, distance here because I do stuff, you know, got my notepad and whatever, and I... I don't want a super close mic like a radio station. Okay, a uh, very good day, everybody. My name's Callum from DX Commander. I know a lot of the most of the people here are watching this are here because they're probably bored, bored stiff on a Saturday. It's an evening in the UK, so a lot of people are going to be with the family. It's also the Jubilee weekend, so there's people going to be having uh, too much drink and that sort of thing. But I'm just going to switch off my powered monitors just in case um it's the afternoon california is it what's the time maybe morning time zl whatever i was going to do this tomorrow night but i've got something else lined up for tomorrow night for you guys as well <sighs> you do sound at times that you are clipping right at the edge yeah i know yeah and let me um i'll just i'll show you my monitor actually uh, actually, it's my my mixer. So this is what I've been playing with today. So I'm going to take that down minus two dB. That's the channel. So hopefully that will fix that because I've been playing around. Someone's in the blooming bath. Uh, did you fix the XR18? We'll cover that in a minute. But yes. All right, somebody wanted to know about ladder line. Do you know, I don't, not a lot to say about ladder line. Let me get a new piece of paper out. I, I've only got one experience of ladder line. It was extremely positive. Um, so, I mean, where do, where do we start? You know, I mean, ladder line or balanced feeder, right? Balanced feeder. I mean, the ladder line that we know, know and love is that for, and I'll draw it to scale. It's about that size. And it's, it's a kind of a window line, isn't it? Now, the stuff we buy in the UK, I don't like because inside here, I think it's actually a steel cable that's copper clad. And if it bends too much, it will snap. Um, it's called 450 ohm. That's what we call it anyway. Now, although you, the, although you can use ladder line, and I know Tim's done this, ladder line with... Um, with a ballon into a pit of coax straight into the back of your radio and hit the ATU button. How I've normally done it is um, I've, I've taken the ladder line and I've gone into, actually I've got an AT4K it's called. It's, it's a big balanced tuner. And I've just taken it directly into the back and put my coax in, you know, from the radio. And then you just, and normally I use it for a doublet, right? Now, I'm going to read the comments now because with, so Whiskey 5 Charlie, Mike Papa runs it on VHF, works damn good. If you've got exactly the right length, and you, this is when you need, you need to have passed your full minimum. <laughs> and ideally you want a Smith chart. You need to understand, we were talking on the premiere about how the impedance fluctuates along the line. You need to play around, in my opinion, cutting that, ladder line until you got a 50 ohm match all right because somewhere along that line will probably be 50 ohms tim says ladder line is great at handling high swr with low loss remember to keep a few inches from metal don't coil it up and keep it off the ground we'll need a tweak in tuning when it rains so there we are so that's ladder line hopefully that's helped you out a bit um right there was no particular questions on coax in my opinion this is all and i don't know about you you can tell me on the comments here normally it's about budget all right i mean that seven mil stuff 
is as good as 213 and SSB Electronics, Messi and Poloni do it. Messi and Poloni are really launching hard in America at the moment, as you probably noticed. But there are other companies that do, you know, uh, coax. But for amateur radio, a lot of the coax, professional coax, is too expensive. It's, it's, it's skyrocketing, you know. You're looking at like one or two dB loss at blooming microwave, you know. I mean, it's this size. We can't afford that as hobbyists, so we need a nice flexible coax. Not quite disposable, but we can save up and buy a 50 metre or 163 feet or 330 foot coil of the stuff and a few connectors and keep us going for a while. I try and cut my coax as long as I can, knowing that over the years I'll trim it back. Um, Robert Baber says he's been running Mini 8. Name brand, not a knockoff. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, resonant antenna, the one you go to put the ladder in the shed. Hand bandit. I know. If you've got a resonant antenna, you don't need ladder line. You don't need a tuner. And the good coax these days. You've got to remember when I first started, and maybe you got these stories as well in ham radio, all the old lags were saying, oh, you know what, coax? Coax is shit. <laughs> you want ladder line. But. I was a fairly modern guy and I wanted to bounce around the bands quite often and I noticed that when I had the big doublet. If I wanted to go from 80 and just have a little round, flick round 15 and then I thought, well, I might need to transmit. So I I got a little chart and I go, okay, I want that on 82, this on 53, the roller inductor on 112, hit the button. Oh, it's a little bit high, a tiny tweak. I mean, that's a band change for you. If you've got like a fan dipole or DX Commander type thing, I'm not trying to flog the DX Commanders, but we know they're instant tuned because they're tuned all the time. You just change bands and get on with it, and you can ignore that whole because ladder line's not cheap anymore. In the UK, I think it's about a pound a meter or something. Now, the only question that hasn't come up is 75 ohms. So I know a friend of mine called Barry M0DGQ, he runs all his. 50 ohm stuff on 75 ohm coax because he got it cheap or thrown away or something and i think there's a test to be done and i've got it marked up actually we'll do this test and we'll take some cheap um uh tv coax literally you know that cost less than course about four or five mil isn't it we'll run some power down it on down to an antenna just to see how well we do that might be a laugh i don't know if anybody here has used 75 ohm coax um, Owen M0NVK wants to know where Andy Cowley is. It's probably Saturday night and it's his one night off, uh, Owen. Right, have I missed anything? RG6, what options are open for HF on air on a budget, says Matt. Well, people are going to come at you here, Matt, I'm sure. And I mentioned this the other day. I said you could get uh, on my foundation training series, you could get set up for £500. Well, it honestly depends what you want. If you just want a, ch a small, not cheap, a small HF radio, a little bit of coax and a couple of wires in the back garden, you could do that for £500. That's something like a, I mean, you don't home brew a whole radio, but uh, Martin Lynch, or, or, or talk to the local clubs, there's people there. Everybody who's been doing this for 10 or 15, 20 years has normally got a radio they never, ever use. I've got one. Oh, I'm taking it on holiday. But, you know, with the right sort of money, if I had one more radio, there we are, I would, I would just go, oh, give it away, sell it. So, um, I don't like eBay. But, I mean, the, the, there are some real sellers on eBay that, that, that just want the money and get out. If you talk to your dealer, like Martin Lynch or in America, wherever, I don't know, FT450 has been a really good starter rig for years. OK, I think it's just one VFO, one coax, maybe two. Maybe it's got two antenna ports. I don't know. Nice little run of coax, seven mil coax. You can get four. You used to be able to get an FT450 for four hundred and fifty pounds. That's probably seven hundred dollars. And also. Uh, what's that? Is that a G90? What's that Zigu thing? That 20 watt radio. A number of people call me on Friday mornings with those. 
Um, so Tim says, second hand 450D, switch mode power supply, decent RG58, wire dipole. There we are. He agrees with me, under £500. And just make your own dipole. <laughs> Makes me laugh, you know, when I speak to people and they say they have a homebrew dipole. Why the hell would you want to buy a dipole? I mean, don't tell me there's a video how to make a dipole. Be quite good fun. You've got to remember that 90% of the people that watch the really, really idiot <laughs> shows that, no, not I do, but, you know, how to do this, how to do that. They know how to do it, right? They're watching for the flaws. And then if you read the comments, you see all, you see them coming out the woodwork. I wouldn't have done it like that. I would have done it like this. Zigo G90, says Dean. KQ4ADJ. You've got some saving up to do. You have. Oh, blooming hell. Mike's here. Mike, I mentioned you in a video that I'm probably launching tomorrow night. What is a dive bowl, says Darren. Lovely. Okay, so that's ladder line, 75 ohm. The rest is your budget, isn't it? Okay. Uh, somebody want to know, could you get coax in different colours? I think, I think he was being serious. Was it Lon, Lod? I can't remember. Um... I, I've, I've never seen, I've seen white coax. You can buy white RG213, I think, and it's marine, okay? I don't know how well it lasts, but I bought some for my boat years ago. Uh, there was a cock up on the video, and I'll just reset the viewer's attention by giving them a different camera view. Thank you. Uh, there was a cock up when I started going on about, in fact, I've probably got the thing here. Well, that'd be fun, wouldn't it? I'll be able to show you the cock up. It was when I was going on about 80 metres and then all of a sudden I swapped to 40 and I went, well, 40 metres, that's actually the 42 metre band. Oh, it might be here. It might be the page before. I think it is actually. Yes, it was this bit. Uh, what camera? That one, I think. Yeah, here we go. And all of a sudden I ended up on the 40 metre band. But that's why I use... 36 meters. I've got, on hold. I've got this one, it's about 34 meters now. I've cut a bit off for the two meter project. I couldn't find any. Oh, was the connector I'd lost or something? I take it away because then I know if I've got a very strange impedance happening at the feed point, I will see it in the shack, you know, when I'm on holiday. I'll, I'll just go, oh, that's a bit odd. Wonder why that is then. And I can go directly to the feed point if I need to to work that out because I take. <sighs> I take a shopping basket. It's called a Tesco box in the UK. And I normally take a soldering iron, spare wire, you know, spare coax, feed lines, all sorts. A Zego X5105. Now, I believe, James, that is, uh, that's the 10 watt version. I think that's the cut down version, isn't it? Of what we were talking about. Now, I've lost my notes because I didn't want to waste this paper. This notebook, by the way, is wonderful if you're ever doing little presentations. It's um, derwentart.com. Derwent Art. The pages are nice and thick, so you can use Sharpies, because these are, these are fairly cheap Sharpies. So I'll let you know. Some of them have gone off, so I'll have to go through them. Um, right. Oh, it wasn't that one. Oh, here we go. <laughs> So that was a cock up. That was a half wavelength. Now then, is Mike? Mike, if you're still here, I'll give you a really good laugh. Um, I think I put it on my Instagram feed actually. <laughs> so I took the dogs uh, to the field yesterday, and many of you don't know, but I lost my my drone, my favourite drone, and um, it it was stuck up a tree. Gosh, that's really zoomed in. But, <laughs> does this work? <laughs> I found it. Basically, I um, I retraced my... I've seen it a couple of times when the wind's been blowing. And a locky, poor chap, he's been halfway, halfway up the tree trying to retrieve it. But we keep losing it. We don't know where it is. Because, you know, the wind, there's multiple layers. It was a long way up. At least a 12-metre signature, we, th we thought. Anyway, yesterday, I had the dogs out there. I was just wandering to the field. I thought, I'll retrace my exact steps. I walked here and I looked up and then I saw it at this point. Blah, 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 blah. And to cut long story short, I thought, oh my God, there it is. Right, the drone. So I had, I had a 10 metre pole on standby. And I cut long story short, I fished it out. 
what you don't know is that I was so upset about losing my drone that I bought one on Monday. So I've now got two DJI Mini 2s, all right? So I'm now thinking up solutions to the problem of having two drones, all right? What do we do? Film me putting an aerial up and film the drone filming me putting the air antenna up? I don't know. 991A for chat use. 991A, that's that Yesu, isn't it? A lot of people have got those. Well done, mate, he says, Mike. Ah, uh, whatever. So that's the drone. The cloud lifter, it's not a shirt lifter. Um, cloud lifter. I'll, I'll just sh show you what it is. Because some people, and I heard it as well, and it used to really annoy me. This is a cloud lifter. You, I plug um, this microphone in directly into this uh, cloud lifter. That then plugs straight into um, this here, into the back of here, uh, this channel, uh, channel uh, 16. And, um, and that gives me a 25 dB preamplifier boost. So I get a really hot signal coming out of this, which means we can drive the mixer a lot less. I was having to put the preamp was full on, all right, on the mixer. Well, you know, it's a 500 pound mixer and uh, it hasn't got 18 150 pound preamps, you know. So that's what I've done. And then of course the, pre the amplifier in the mixer is working a lot less and I, I get this uh, great sound. So what I did today is I ran out. I've got a very, very slight noise gate running here. I don't know if you can see this. I've got um, um, a, a bit of EQ on this microphone, funnily enough, because in the old days, funnily enough, when I was sitting here, because I've moved the desk around, I could run this microphone flat. Isn't it funny? You just move it to here and it, it completely changed. So. Now, you're all talking about um, um, rigs here, 991 portable camping combo. Now, a lot of people like these 991s. Does the 991 have... Okay, here's a question for you. What is the cheapest radio with a USB sound card interface, you know, for doing digital and stuff like that? Because it's such a shame that the TS-2000 was ahead of its time but on the other hand, it didn't have a USB. So there we are. Uh, right, the only thing I am going to mention, other than, other than that, is you'll remember that, well, I genuinely, 100%, don't know why I lost my channel. But in identical circumstances, it's happened to someone else. I'm not telling you who it is yet. You'll work it out in the next couple of weeks. Because he emailed me, and uh, quite a big channel, old timer. Um, almost exact circumstances, so a term of service violation and everything. Of course, my hacking, my I lost my channel overnight. So I was asleep when it happened. Because so I'm most of the time when I'm sitting here, which is like four to five hours a day, because I'm either watching YouTube or doing something or working, writing emails or whatever else. I would kind of know that I was being hacked because all of a sudden I couldn't get into something. But it happened overnight. Well, it happened overnight for him as well. He woke up in the morning and his channel's gone. Uh, now, he he's worked a little bit harder than I have and actually found out the email address that it was changed to. But that's all disappeared now. And now no one from Google wants to talk to him. So um, in, in a way, it makes me feel better that, OK, I didn't do anything wrong. I mean, I know I didn't do anything wrong, but I'm sure there must have been speculation. I remember talking to Tom and Mike, and Tom's going, what have you uploaded? I said, Tom, I haven't. And then you go through all your files and your directories, you know, how to make a bomb. No, it wasn't that. <laughs> I apologize for being asked, but what's the most reasonable jumper you'd want to use at a shack to go between the radio tuner or coax switch and radio? D3 Jake. Do you know, it doesn't really matter. The pros will run short pigtails of high quality RG58, you know, inside the shack. I happen to use, because I buy 100 meter reels of um, Ecoflex 7 or Ultraflex 7 from Messi and Poloni, 
and I really like the connectors and they don't let me down and I haven't got all that weird soldering stuff to do anyway so uh, this guy wrote to me and said um, I know you took it in your stride but I'm finding it really difficult to deal with I kind of took it in my stride but as my close friends will know occasionally some days I have a kind of a post-traumatic stress thing but I know Mike Mike and I talk a lot daily almost Mike if you're still there I don't know but um, you know we, we, we've you know you want to know where Mike's been Mike M0 MSN he hasn't been around for a while but I mean he's lost he hasn't lost the impetus I'm sure he's he can speak for himself he's been really busy but then he thought oh my gosh if a YouTube channel could disappear overnight why do we put all this effort into it? Well, it just so happens all my videos are distributed on Odyssey and Rumble as well. You can I don't go there, but they're automatically distributed there. So if you comment to any of the videos there, good for you. I, I just haven't got time to read. I've got to pick one place and I pick YouTube. All right. It's hard to ignore the fact that someone has built evil. Yes, it has, Brett. And you've got to remember. Oh, yeah, let's come on to Signal Link in a minute, Jim James. Um, um, I was going to say something evil, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, I know what I was going to say. Uh, on the, on the net, by Mon uh, Monday afternoon, you know, when you try and reset your password to, I don't know, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, things like you get an email, don't you? Going, just making sure this is you, you know, if it is, ignore, if it's not, click this button. Well, my Instagram account, my Facebook account, which I rarely log into anyway. I mean, if they want to take hold of that and have some family photos, good luck to them. Um, I don't know. Maybe they tried QRZ, Eham. I, I got no idea. But sev I had several attempted password changes on other platforms as well. I have no idea what the turn service violation was, but I've got the feeling it wasn't me because this is what happened to the other guy, right? Now, maybe I'm nutty enough to actually do something right because you know with my adhd and autism sometimes i don't know what's right and wrong this uh, this old boy who's lost his channel i mean he's, he's not gonna have but he had exactly the same circumstances exactly the same messages and everything term of service violation so i think what happens is your account is somehow compromised then something is uploaded which guarantees your account will be shut right because they're looking at everything aren't they you know, if I, you know, stripped off naked here and started running around playing the drums without anything on, I'm sure YouTube would have something to say. Mind you, I think you guys would have something to say about that as well. Uh, still here and true, says Mike. How do you deal with wire antennas near 14 kilowatt power lines? Uh, the power lines at the end of the yard. I just make sure that I'm well clear of them. By the way, I have personally never had power line noise. I don't know if anybody on the channel on this chat has actually had power line noise. I've never heard it. Because if it's a good quality 50 hertz or in your country, 60 hertz line, I think it's just, it should be 50 hertz electricity. Yeah, you know, whizzing past, but whatever else. Uh, sharing videos can get someone popped. Yeah, I haven't done that. We don't believe you did anything wrong, Carl. Well, funnily enough, Mike was up the other day and Alan, oh, you missed Alan, didn't you? So Mike, Mike was up on, I think Wednesday or Thursday, Thursday it was. And I had a phone call where Mike was there from a guy called Alan, right? Who's a real old mate of mine. Now he arrested me <laughs> as a policeman years ago. And I always love introducing Alan as the, as the, the, the policeman who was the first policeman ever to arrest me, the first policeman, because I've been arrested more than once. I'm very proud of it as well. Keep, please keep your clothes on. You have a body for radio. I do. Can you pause the live stream? I need a 10 100. We like our clocks to run too fast. All power is underground where I am. Okay. Uh, I, so yeah, I do. I've done a lot of things wrong. In fact, Wendy and I, I said to Wendy not so long ago, you know. So it's just turning into a bit of a funny stream. And I seriously, I've had one beer tonight, right? It's just as well. I didn't have that giant gin and tonic. Um, but had I not met Wendy, to be frank with you, I would either be dead or in prison because I, I just, I just would. Um, so 
Jolly fine quality. I mean, I'd be totally pissed off. The number of subscriptions has obviously dropped too. Totally ridiculous, but they did this to you and us, your community, to be fair. There's no individual. I don't. I think. I think the account did upload something in the middle of the night. I really do. This is what I just think. I don't know how they did it. And which guaranteed a term of service violation shutdown. That's what I think. There we are. Good. Uh, hopefully I haven't uh, blethered too much. I just want to do a test. OK, I've just seen what the... Because uh, I'm watching me, and I'm watching me, if you know what I mean. Watching me on the down from YouTube, and I'm watching me on the up. And I just want to know what the latency was. It's about three seconds, which is quite interesting. Any other questions before we go? I'm glad I fixed the audio. So hopefully I haven't been clipping. I've got a fairly compressed voice anyway. I can speak quietly or loudly, but I hardly adjust the level. Yeah, it sounds weird, but I'll just do that. I'll tell you what teaches you to do that. In the old days, I had an FT101ZD, and I knew if I spoke loudly, the meter went up, and if I spoke quietly, the meter went down. And a lot of modern amateur radio operators, if they leave their meter on, let's say, Ritalin, get it? Yeah, I've got, I'm, I'm on my Ritalin, don't worry, Brett. <laughs> Uh, so it's, uh, I can't remember what it's called, but it's a Ritalin type for my ADHD, you know. If they leave it on SWR or ALC, they can't see their voice peaks. So they think they're speaking loudly. You know, I'll get uh, Mike 7 X-Ray Juliet Golf. And I can't hear the golf. So, but in the old days, with an FT101ZD Mark III, I just have it on, you know, I just see the power meter. And I go, well, I want to speak it work for you it's that way around i want to speak so i'm lifting it up to at least half the time and i ended up having my own sort of built-in processor do you know what i mean what was that coax you were able to bury at the old farm that was and we we have extracted it we, we use it for bits now because they cut it in half for me very kindly that was berry flex 10 that was YouTube showed two-factor authentication. It did, Brian. You go and work that one out. I heard someone with the same problem last week. The only way he got it restored was because he contacted some Google employees who apparently lit, went over to YouTube and said, fix this now. I had a couple of... They might be on the channel right now, watching, I don't know. I had a couple of very nice Google people reach out to me. Uh, but they told me, in terms of their contract of employment, uh, they're not allowed to reach out, OK? You've got to... Everybody's treated equally <laughs> until they're not. But there we are. What a one Google employee reached out to me and said, "Can what you need is one of these little dongles for your for your authentication." Okay, and I must admit we haven't done it yet. So anyway, we will do. If there any, and bleh, if there's any more questions, we will keep going. If there's none, I kind of run out of stuff apart from one little thing. So you remember. So let's just go over while we're watching this. So YouTube, yeah, Sean for a uh, ham radio dude. You, you probably you've seen Sean. Um, I'll let you see him on that one there. So this is Sean. Just some little shorts look. Um, and in fact, he's really developed, I would say, as an individual. Um, Parachute Mobile, he streamed that 21 hours ago, he did something five uh, days ago. He's kind of changed his thumbnails a bit. And I'd say he's, uh, he's really motoring along. Now, it just so happens that Sean has ADHD too, and we talk quite a lot. Now, it's no secret that Sean had a bit of a meltdown at the back end of last year. Uh, and I got in touch with him. I said, you know, just, you want to chat? You know, we will. And we we've... we've He's really helped me, and I've really helped him. And I think it's because we've both got this ADHD, which, by the way, affects you more than you might realise. There's a lot more to ADHD than just a sudden naughty kid in the back of the class. But why am I telling you this? Because he bought me this. So it's a present from Sean, OK? Now, whether he feels that I've been very extra kind to him uh, or maybe he felt a couple of days ago I was having a bit of a hard time, he just wanted to... Uh, mind you, I sent him a DX commander, didn't I? So he's bought me this stream deck. So some of the things that I'm doing that I would like to do on the stream here would be a little bit easier with this. I'll let you see. It's, it's really cute. 
I think a number of subscribers would benefit from your experience. I'm on a journey too, says Brett. So it's quite cute. It's only this size. Uh, it's the size of like a fag packet. Uh, USB comes with some software and you program the kit. It's like a little keyboard, but it's got all macros and everything and nice little buttons. So some of the things that I really want to do when I, when, when, but not just for this live stream is easy because I've got this little thing here. It's called an ATEM Mini. Oh, let you see what an ATEM Mini is uh, because that, that controls um, the camera's images. Um, so, oh, there's one there. Uh, well, uh, it's A10 Mini is, is it that one? Yeah, it is, I think. Yeah, it's this one here. How much are they? £239, looks like that. I'm only interested in these four buttons at the bottom, really, in the main. I use a bit of picture in picture, but it's got, um, you can log into it and run macros and all sorts of stuff. Um, which is a bit beyond me. I've had a look at it and I've, I've, you've got to have someone there to press the button. I haven't got time to go, oh, hang on, I'm going to run that macro now, you know. So but some of the things I want to do, we can do with OBS. So like I want to do more interviews and live stream with real people and I just want a better layout. I don't just want the raw Zoom. We'll use Zoom and I just want, you know, if there's three people on the stream, I want to be able to hit a button and it will do three nicely. It'll automatically grab my screen, do stuff, and things like that. Let me just read the comments. I have two sons with ADHD. It's a nightmare, says Norbert. Oh, golly. Oh, drum practice. Oh, I will tell you a little bit. Fran Lab has some interesting things to say about YouTube and Google. Yeah, she's fantastic. Uh, do you also run a limiter? Um, I'm not quite sure. I've got a funny feeling. We'll have a look at that. Actually, maybe you can help me out. I'm sure that I could go on the internet and work this one out myself. But this channel here, I've got a compressor and it's running at a ratio of 100 to 1. So that's just confirmed to me, will you? I think that is like a brick wall limiter, I think. Um, the Coffee and Ham Radio guys made fun of Sean's name. He was upset. Oh, uh, that's a shame. Cal, I have a DXC Classic. Do I need to spread the radials one by one? I could spread them in bunches. No, I wouldn't spread them in bunches. Um, I, I would spread them as best you can, even if it's just 180 degrees. I would separate them. I just would. Right? I've seen people do bunches, and I thought that's going to confuse people. And then when I've challenged it, they said, oh, yeah, I just that was for the video. I actually laid them out. Otherwise, you might just well just as well do one. Have I done a recent video on how many radials? Did I upload? Cal, can you put a link for Sean's channel? I will do. Just give me a minute. Um, I didn't want that. I want my, I want my channel, my channel, which is this button here. Uh, let's see my channel. Uh, content. We've got a few things coming up here. What well, hasn't been released? Oh, make a software dipole in five minutes. But I'm after radials, radials. Oh, here we are. How many radials and an easy guide to radials. So there is a couple, whoops, wrong one. There is a couple I've done there. And somebody wants Sean's, if you just search ham radio dude, he should come up. There it is. I will, I'll post the link anyway. Oh, he's got a custom URL, which is fine. So there's Sean there. Now, I don't like taking a mickey out of anybody. Is, is that what expression do you use in, in America when we take the piss out of someone, you know? Uh, <laughs> Jeff's got an ATEM as well. Lovely. I ordered two mic. I don't know what the hell you ordered. What is an F4MN for the Coax? Uh, <laughs> hey, teach us. Lives, it leaves us kids alone. So, okay. Uh, I'll just make a note because I'll forget. Drums. Uh, I mean, tell me if you're interested in this because I'm building another community doing something else. I'll just write drums so I don't forget. It's, it's, it's quite interesting. It's quite interesting. I haven't taken medication for my ADHD in 30 years and probably should start taking it again, says Chris. 
Sean's channel I've done. Thanks, Jimbo. Oh, downloaded OBS but can't stand the sound of my own voice, says James. Don't worry, mate. I got used to mine as well. Uh, about to set up my kit, e-kit, after three years of not playing. Right, OK, so I, I played my drums for about three minutes last Monday, and I thought, this is crap. So I ordered... Um, I don't know if you can see, actually. But, uh, you can, actually. There is a little white... Some white boxes over there somewhere. Over there somewhere. And they're new drum heads. So I'm going to reskin the head and then I got on. There is a. I'll put this away while I'm chatting to you here. Uh, you probably need a microphone, it's always handy. I got on. There's um, a, um, a website called Band Mix in the UK, bandmix.co.uk. And I am radio, dude. Thanks for the shout out. Sure, no problem. And I got on to Band Mix and I wrote like a two and a half page in Word, you know. The whole idea of what I was trying to achieve. I don't want to go gigging anymore. I want a rehearsal band, ideally a three-piece, but we can. I know we can fit a four-piece in here with keyboards, maybe a singer as well. Let's some record it with the idea of live streaming from the bunker. So I'm thinking of setting a band up and we'll call it the Bunker Boys. Anyway, I must have said something just right because I mail shotted. The first 26 people I came across that were older than 50, you know, are old rockers, you know, and said, hey, I've got this idea, blah, 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 a Thursday night, that's what we'll do. We even might live stream in the odd rehearsal, you know. So we'll have a new channel just for that. If you are interested in um, that and joining in for a laugh, I'll put the A10 Mini on cycle, so I'll have four cameras so you can see, you know, like the whole room and then the three guys one at a time. Just have like five seconds or something. Just cycle around. But if we, if we get the mix right, because we'll use the the old Xair, you know, we'll, we'll use this. Obviously, all the channels, you know, have all my drums and we have the bass guitar and lead guitar and singer and little little. And um, we can have that. The nice thing about this is that. Um, um, you can put it on a phone. You can put it on a phone. You can have your own mix as well. You know, you go, oh, I want. I don't want to hear Callum as much. Turn me down. You know, this might be interesting. If you are interested in hanging around with an online band, then that might be something for you. Some cracking videos. Oh, okay, good. Uh, hopefully, uh, Sean, you know, I have uh, another few nice people to join you. Do you have any honest thoughts? about the Yaesu FL2100B. I just purchased one and it's immaculate and works perfectly. I'll tell you what, when I had the FT101ZD Mark III, the matching FC902 and SP102, was it? I can't remember. The FL2100B, which I think is up good for five or 600 watts, was the matching, the whole set. And for ages, I just used to look at the picture of it to think what it'd be like to have 400 watts you know i can't remember if it is 400 watts mike kg2mm the other mike ham radio dude is a good dude we connected at hamcation and we had a lot in common oh nice okay is the bunker boys channel made yet no it was great to meet you okay good if there's anything we'll check out band mix says james there's a few bands looking for drummers, but I've got, yeah, I've had to put, I, was, I suffered from information overload because uh, everybody got back to me really interested in the project. And I actually don't know how, to, I could put three bands together at the moment. So there we are. Exactly what I'm looking for, Cal. Oh, what, the, um, the band mix thing. Uh, <laughs> how, could I, how could you have any pudding if you don't eat your meat? Jeez. OK, Jeff Tipson, G Gibson says, Cal, you're right. Behind the scenes, software for ATEM is crazy. I used it for church. Now I'm thinking about starting my own ham radio channel. I'm a noob. like to help others. It's good fun. Once you give a bit of an audience, I mean, we got it's 139. I mean, I don't, I'm not a massive channel, am I? 139 people just chilling, having some fun. That's all we are. I know I'm a bit boring today because we've done all the good stuff. That was the premiere before this. You know, it's edited down from about 25 minutes to 17. All the ums and ahs, or some of them, are taken out anyway. 
Uh, in the US, the pros no longer refer to ADHD, but rather on the scale, recognising there's a very large psychological scale and some problems can be good in some situations like focus. I mean, well, in the UK, I mean, basically you're on 36 milligrams or 50 something milligrams and that's about it, you know. But uh, Sean and I will tell you, if, if I don't take it and I've got a funny feeling I haven't today at the first time in ages, but I remember taking it, but was it yesterday's? Sean or not, I mean. Good night, Tim. Uh, what other instruments do you play besides the drums? Says Mike. I don't. This uh, business here is a con, right? Two, two quite nice guitars. I have plugged them in. I, have str I mean, I can play not to you and play to me, if you know what I mean. You need to get a real guitarist. And the idea for the bass and the six string on the wall is if ever I'm in mean, a bit of a party or people around and somebody goes, oh, I play the bass. I go, oh, I've got one here. <laughs> they weren't expensive. One was about 300 pounds, about maybe $400. And uh, the bass, actually, it's a really nice copy. Uh, I think I got it on a deal. I drove to Worcester and picked it up for 110 quid or something, 110 pounds. Um, so Jeff says, I love your making contacts. That's likely what I'll do. It's fun to watch. It is actually. A lot of people going off. Good night. Good night, Chris. So Anton says, for my medication, I have a weekday box. Or, oh, yes. I can quickly see see if I forget one. Carol, playing drums in the raw could skyrocket views. Just hide the little dongle so you don't get kicked. <laughs> I don't take the medication. Made me feel funny as a kid. Says, don't know how to pronounce your name, Garbear. Myers, but fair enough then. Of course, I'm a, I say autistic. I don't like saying on the scale either because whatever is unique. But anyway, I've got this sort of strong ASD traits, but they can't treat that. I'm just a bit odd. Anyway, so I think we've done everything. Um, that's it. I've got Sean's channel on, and he's like looking out at me. Now, do you remember we used to play an end song? Uh, I, I prepared an end. Oh, play it again, see what it's like. All 145 of you. I can do something with a blues harmonica. Oh, I, I couldn't. Soldering four connectors at the same time and listening to Santa, <laughs> says Harry. We, we see the world a little different. I think we all do. I appreciate your friendship, Cal. Thanks for all you guys to help. Sean, snap, same. Snap, I bet you that's a word they don't use in the USA. Snap. We play snap on cards. You turn over a jack and I turn over a jack. The first person of the day, snap, wins the cards. The kids game. But anyway, it's the same as same. Good. I've really enjoyed tonight. Thank you very much for accompanying me. I'm now going to make myself a cup of coffee and I'll watch a bit of YouTube. Uh, it's a shame that the Amber Heard and Johnny Depp trial's over because I thought she was completely frigging cuckoo. And that would have been fun to watch again. So occasionally I do. <laughs> That's lovely. A very good night. I'm going to type 73. How about that? And then I'm going to hit this button here and it's all over. I will see you uh, probably tomorrow night as well. And then again next Friday we'll do another live. Okay. All the best to you. Bye for now. Good night, guys.